okay welcome dear students today we are going to see about the section and elevation of a paneled dome so this is uh, our first experiment in civil engineering planning and drafting laboratory so now what is a paneled dome so paneled doors which are very commonly used to types usually have two leaves so you have seen so if this is the door you would have seen many different types of doors so this is called a two leaf door with two leaves that is this is one leaf and this is another leaf now this is door with four leaves so uh, nowadays you can see normally the doors have only one leaf but in olden days you can see the doors with four leaves and two leaves were very common and each leaves will be divided into two or three equal or unequal panels so you will have different panels inside these leaves this is called a panel okay so these panels will be of different sizes or different shapes so this is called a paneled door so a door will have leaves it will be divided into leaves the leaves will have different number of panels and the components of a door are so what are the components of the door are the frame the hold fast hinges and other fixtures so we will see these things one by one the front elevation sectional pan and sectional elevation of the paneled door are shown in the drawing and the details of the important joints that is joint between head frame and uprights joint between the top rail and the style and the connection of lock rail and the style are also given so we are going to see what about these parts okay so before going to your section elevation etc we will see the important parts of a paneled door so this is a one panel that is single paneled door and this part is called top rail okay this is called a top rail why this is called a top rail see this is the top horizontal top horizontal portion top horizontal part is called top rail of the door similarly you will have a bottom rail that is the bottom horizontal portion is called the bottom rail now see first i will tell you the common parts which you know already so this is called lock set it is also known as passage set which will help you to open the door okay so that is called a lock set or passage set now the vertical parts are called that is vertical frame like parts are called mullion this is called mullion so this is your first vertical part called first mullion second vertical part called the second mullion third vertical part called the third mullion at this mullion passes in the center that is the central vertical parts are called mullions now you can see the exterior the in the ends of the leaves huh? the vertical part is called style it is called style so here you can see this vertical part is called lock style now this is called frame that is outside the leaves you will have a frame to hold this door that is called frame now what is lock rail lock this you call it as lock rail this is the horizontal part you call it as lock rail because this is called rail see lock rail this horizontal part is called cross rail this is called top rail and bottom rail that means all the horizontal uh, that parts or frame like parts are called rails vertical are called style the central vertical is called the mullions now so the top rail bottom rail where the lock is placed that rail is called a lock rail and the other rails are called cross rails 
okay now these are the panels so these are the important parts now we will see some more parts you see we have seen what is top rail panel then now this is called freeze rail freeze rail freeze rail also known as cross rail now this is called mid rail rail also known as lock rail so panels different panels so this is one panel this is another panel so three panel fourth panel fifth panel and sixth panel so this door totally has six panels now so this is called as usual top mullion the top vertical part the middle mullion and the lower mullion so bottom rail is the bottom horizontal part now the frame or lining which holds the whole door panel or the leaves or the doors you need a this is called a door frame okay frame of the door door frame now see this part that is the in the top before fixing the door you need a frame right so in that frame the top horizontal portion is called head of the frame head of the frame and this part is called stop the reason is see when you open the door and when you close the door okay when you open the door and then you close the door the door will go and fix in this part the door will be fixing in this part so when you have a door when you have a head see the some portion of the head will be removed off in order to fixing the door when you open and when you close you can see a small change in the elevation both on the top bottom and on the sides so that is called stops so this is the top stop the side when you close the door you will have a stop here so this is called this is also known as a stops so this is one stop this is another stop and these are called the vertical frame is called legs or jumps and the bottom where the uh, where the door rests it may be door or window you call it as threshold or sill generally you call it as sill the other term for sill is threshold and this part that is see this is called architrave now now we will see the different uh, dimensions and all see this is your experiment i think this is uh, the dimensions are not clear here so i will send it to you in whatsapp also see you know the different parts now now what you have to do is first of all you have to draw the elevation not the plan that is when we draw the plan of a house when we are drawing the section plan and elevation of a building first of all we will draw the plan here in the case of door first of all you have to draw the elevation our first aim is draw the elevation then draw the sections okay so after drawing the elevation you have two sections you have to draw section 1 one vertical section and one horizontal section so vertical section is taken along this so this is the section 1 1 okay this is your vertical section 1 1 so this is the details of the section 1 1 and section 2 2 is taken horizontally you are cutting the section horizontally section 2 2 and this is the section sectional drawing for the section 2 2 that is the for the horizontal section now 
looking into the parts see if you have any doubts in the dimensions you can go to you can measure any of the doors of your house and you can look into for the dimensions here see this horizontal dimension is 1000 mm that is 1 meter okay 1000 mm and the total vertical dimension is 2000 this is 2000 mm this is 2000 mm here this is 1000 mm now see this part this part that is this frame this is called a head frame this is called head frame now this head frame has to be inserted inside the wall okay so this is called horn h o r n horn h o r n horn with which you will fix the head frame to the wall that is called horn now these things are called hold fast see you can see this 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay these are called hold fast because you are holding the door with the walls so these are called hold fast so you have totally six hold fast see this is your central hold fast this this is your central hold fast and these both are equidistant from the center now this center hold fast will be see the total height of the door is 2000 mm so this is from the top head frame to this is 1000 mm same way at the bottom also now from the top from the top frame to the first hold fast the distance is 200 mm so here also the distance is 200 mm so remaining you can calculate how much lies in between now this is what is called a top rail this is top rail and here you have tower bolts see you will uh, the bolts which you will for locking the door this is called tower bolts you have one tower bolt here and another tower bolt here because this is a two leaf two leaves this is a door with two leaves so that you will have two tower bolts if it is one leaf you will normally have one tower one tower bolt so this is your tower bolts now we have top rail that we have seen already now this dimension i will tell you ah and one more part see this here this is called hinges this part is hinges you can see your door which will help your door to move forward and backwards to close and open the door so these are hinges you have the hinges so one here you have one two three four so four hinges on one side and another four hinges on the other side of the door you will have hinges okay now this distance this is 70 cm 70 mm then this distance is 85 this the spanal distance is 255 again 
this that is the style the distance of this style this distance is 90 so this is 90 so same dimension for the next panel also so 90 this is 255 this is 85 and this is 70 now this see this is these dimensions you can take it of your own so how much it is your wish you can take it of your own this depends on your uh, imaginary property you can give any design any shape any size etc okay so this is here this is your all drop this is called this lock okay this part is called all drop a l d r o p this is the lock rail that is this horizontal part is called the lock rail and this is called the mid rail mid rail and this is called bottom rail or kick rail okay this is called bottom rail or kick rail so now the measurements are over so now you can draw this so after this you come for the section 11 or section 22 okay so take the dimensions so here you have a lintel see this part is your lintel this is lintel you are placing your this is your head frame so this is top rail and the dimensions see how you have to draw the section is you extend see from the elevation you extend the elevations okay every part you extend this you extend the elevation and then you take the measurements and complete the section 11 same way while you are drawing the section 2 to also that is this horizontal section also what you can do is you extend this part okay so extend this part to the bottom then you can draw the section so thank you that's all for today hope you understood and you can draw this thanks for listening